Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. My name is Adrian and today we're going to look at the HYM 460 SPE lawnmower. Okay, let's get straight on with it. I've removed the lawnmower from all its packaging and placed everything here on the table so that you can see the box contents. First of all, we have the lawnmower itself with the handle folded on top. A little bit of assembly needed on this later, but I will go through that. A 70 litre grass catching box. A side discharge chute. The mulching plug. A user manual. A quick start guide, which basically is explaining what I'm explaining to you now. A Hyundai warranty registration form. Now this explains that there are several ways that you can register your warranty. I strongly recommend that you do register your warranty, but this sheet explains exactly how it can be done. Let's pull this out of the bag. The battery charger, now you may need to use this on your initial use to charge the battery up. Once it's running and what have you through the season, it will charge its own battery, but for the first start of the season, you may need to charge the battery, and I shall show you that a little later. And a spare key for the start button. It does come with one of the keys in the start button already, but it has a spare key, and these can be placed on a key ring. And that's the contents of your packaging. To assemble the handle, the first step is to remove the four bolts, washers and wing nuts. Now there are one located here, one here, and exactly the same on the other side. So let's remove those. So having removed the four bolts, the next job is to unravel the handle. Now be very careful with this that you don't twist or kink any of the control cables. So the first step will be to fold this top half of the handle over to this side out of the way, making sure that we're not twisted up. And the next step is to simply fold up the main handle from its folded position into somewhere near here. Then fit the bolts the bottom hole from the outside in the two lower bolts then the washers and then the hand wheels on the inside What's this one done And that's the second one done. The next step, again being very careful not to trap or damage the control cables, is to place the top handle in position on the bottom handle. You'll see that there's a hole in the lower handle and a hole in the top handle. And again, this time placing the bolts from the inside out, place the two bolts through the top and bottom handle together. And then simply on with the washer. And on with the nut. And again on this side. On with the washer and on with the nut. Just to give you a close up of that. Bolt from the inside out. On with the washer and on with the nut. So the top bolts are from the inside out and the lower bolts are from the outside in and it's the same procedure for all four. You will see that there are two plastic cable tidies clipped onto the frame. Simply remove these, bring the cables up to the frame and place them over the cables There we are, very nearly there, there we are. 
place them over the cables to tidy them once you finish fitting the handle. On some models, you may need to connect the battery before use. To connect the battery, loosen and undo the two battery clamp bolts. And take them out. Take the battery lid to one side and you will notice that these wires, the two blue wires, are disconnected. The red wires are connected to the red terminal, two of them, and the blue wires will be connected to the black terminal, two of them. This screw can be removed with a crosshead screwdriver. Placed through the two terminals. And connected neatly back to the top of the battery on the negative terminal. Then simply replace the battery cover and replace the two bolts. When replacing the battery cover, don't over tighten these two bolts. Push down to hand tight and perhaps a half a turn. Oop, and a little more. And that's the battery connected. The next step is to place the pull start handle in the pigtail on the lawnmower handle into the operator position. When doing this I'd strongly recommend that first of all you disconnect the spark plug cap. Um, this is important for a few reasons. It will stop accidental starting of the lawnmower when you pull the pull starter and it's a useful thing to know how to do when you're changing the lawnmower blade. I shall show you how to do those and give you a couple of close-ups. The spark plug cap is located here on the front of the engine. To remove the spark plug cap, simply pull it outwards off the spark plug and tuck it to one side. Now the lawnmower is absolutely safe and there's no way that it can start in any circumstance. To replace the spark plug cap, place it back over the spark plug, push it down gently and then give it a firm push to make sure that it's fully located. And that's how to remove and replace the spark plug cap. To put the pull start handle in the operator position, having removed the spark plug cap, simply pull out the pull start cord, place it here to the inside of the pigtail loop, come around to the top, over there, and it's in position. I shall show you that one more time. To the inside, up through the gap, and release it gently, and now it's in its operating position. Your lawnmower ships to you without any engine oil in it. Now it's imperative that you put engine oil in the engine before even attempting to start your lawnmower. The oil you need is a 1030 or 1540 grade motor oil. The oil is put in the engine via the dipstick filler tube here. First step is remove the dipstick by turning anti-clockwise and you'll hear it click and then the dipstick can be withdrawn from the filler tube. Now on the bottom of the dipstick you'll see a letter L then a cross hatched area and then the letter H. L is for low, H is for high. That where you're aiming for is the top of the cross hatched area for your oil level just below the letter H. Okay, so to fill with oil, use a suitable container with a spout and fill the engine oil down through the filler tube. Take it gradually and when testing for the amount of engine oil, allow time for the oil that you've poured into the tube to run down into the engine. To measure the amount, 
place the dipstick down onto its nest and withdraw it. You're looking for an area at the top of the cross hatched area for your ideal oil level. So having gradually filled it, once your oil level reaches this position, replace the dipstick. It will sit in there nicely. It's difficult for me to do from this side. Put the dipstick back into the hole, turn it clockwise until you feel the resistance, make sure it's in there nice and tight, and that's your oil filled. Now to fill your lawnmower with petrol. The fuel tank on this lawnmower is a one litre fuel tank and from absolutely empty one litre would be ideal. So this is the filler cap on the left hand side of the engine, unscrew it anti-clockwise and you'll see that it has a cap retainer so you don't lose the cap. Place the cap to one side and then using a suitable container fill the lawnmower with petrol. Now I advise if it's already got some fuel in you won't know how much to put in but the ideal level for full would be at least one inch or 25 millimeters below the top surface of the filler neck. Once you've filled it, replace the cap, clockwise to tighten it, tighten it nice and firmly and that's your fuel filled. One thing I will say is never fill your lawnmower with fuel when the engine is hot. It's a biohazard. If you spill some on a hot exhaust or something like that, you could have a fire. So always do it when the engine is cold and obviously never to fill it with the engine running. Okay, that's how to fill your fuel. Upon receiving your lawnmower, you may need to charge the lawnmower's battery. Now it does come with a little charging unit. It plugs into a 13 amp outlet and the charger plugs into this socket here on the side of the battery tray. I'll give you a close-up of that. The battery charger simply plugs into a 13 amp outlet and plugs into the battery here. The starter button is located here on your lawnmower. To engage the starter, simply push the button. So when starting, you have your choke on if you need it, your handle back, and it will engage the starter. If you haven't pulled the OPC handle, it will not engage. Also, another note, this key is removable, and you can put it on a key ring um, to keep it safe or what have you, to prevent unauthorized starting of your lawnmower. To replace it, simply pop it back in the hole, and it's ready for use. To start your lawnmower from cold, there are three things you will need to do. Firstly, this left hand lever here is the choke. So for a cold start, you need to push it fully forward to the choke position. Pull this handle backwards, this front handle. Now this is the OPC handle or operator present control. The engine will not start unless this handle is pulled back. The third thing you need to do is push the starter button here. I shall give you a close-up of that. As you can see, it's not starting. If I pull this handle back, it will, I will just show you it will be enabled. Once the engine has started, turn off the choke when you can. It may take 10 or 12 seconds before it allows you to turn the choke off without the engine stalling, but after the engine has run for a few seconds, you can turn the choke off and the engine will tick over. The right hand handle here is the engine RPM controller or the throttle. Fully back is slow, fully forward is as fast as it will go. So fully back for slow, fully forward for fast. Once your engine is running, to engage the clutch and drive the lawnmower forward, pull the rear handle or clutch handle and the lawnmower will drive. To stop the drive, release the handle. To stop the engine, release the front handle. If you release or let go of the lawnmower at all, the engine will stop and the drive will stop. So I'll just run through the start again. For a cold start, left hand handle fully forward, back with the operator control and push the starter button. Once the engine has started, release the starter and your engine will be running. To stop the engine, release the OPC or operator present control handle. 
for a warm start, when the engine's just been running and you've emptied the basket or something like that, you will not need the choke. Um, depending on how warm it is, how long you've been running for, but you'll be able to not turn the choke on, just pull the handle back and push the starter and the mower will start. Should you have a flat battery, you can go through the same procedure for a cold start, choke on, handle back and pull start it on the pull starter if your battery is flat. To stop the engine, release the handle, that's always the way to stop it. And that's how to start your lawnmower. To fit the mulching plug to your lawnmower, simply lift the rear flap, place the mulching plug with its handle facing towards the back into the hole, it will locate into a nest in the bottom and release the lid. To remove it, lift the lid, squeeze the handle to release the barb and pull it out of position. And that's how to fit and remove the mulching plug. To fit the grass collection basket, you will notice that there are two lugs on the top of the basket here. Lift the flap up, those two notches sit over the two lugs, top of the rear of the lawnmower, simple as that, that's the basket fitted. To remove, lift the flap, lift the basket, take it away to empty, to replace, straight back in, two lugs over the top, drop the flap, and that's the basket fitted again, simple as that. To fit the side discharge chute, you will notice that there are two lugs on the top of the chute here. Simply lift the flap on the side, put the chute in position with those two lugs over the pin and release and that's the side chute fitted. To remove, simply lift the flap, pull it out and close the flap. Never open this flap when the engine is running, it will give you direct access to the rotating blade so never lift this flap when the engine is running. This lawnmower has a six position height adjustment. As you can see, it's in the highest position at the moment. A single point to adjust all four wheels. To adjust, simply pull it out away from the lawnmower. That's the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth position. Right forward is very low, and right back is fully up. Really convenient, that. Six position, single point height adjustment. For further information on your lawnmower or any of our other products, visit hyundaipowerequipment.co.uk. I've been Adrian and happy mowing!